after spending four magical days in Nusa Lembogen, it was finally time to head back to Bali. But what what is this? Why do you have the flowers? I see this everywhere. In yeah, because this Bali. into like this. I pray in the morning. Yeah. For the God, this uh, like a praying. Uh huh. And then for the good, uh, not in see that on the way, like the good luck. Okay. Everyone uses this, right? Everyone has it in the cars, outside the homes. Yeah. If the people, the Hindu religion. Right. If not Hindu, not like this. Hello. Hi. Hi. Welcome to Nimbabur. This is your Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I booked a private taxi from Sanur Port to go back to Kukut, where I wanted to spend my last few days in Bali. On the way, my driver stopped at this traditional Balinese market, which he recommended me to check out. So it, you, you have to fry it. Yeah, it's fried. Okay, and what is this? This is a biscuit. Uh, the taste is little spicy for Indonesian people. Maybe uh, for you, maybe it's okay. It's, uh, it's okay. okay. Uh, that's uh, made from shrimp. Shrimp, okay. Yeah. And what is this? It's like cereal. Cereal? Okay. Yeah, like cereal. It's sweet. Yes, yeah, sweet. Wow. Nice. Rice. So this is fermented from sticky rice. Yeah, sticky rice. And you've made cookies out of it. Yeah. Wow. Which one is this? This one is this one. Uh, flavor? Flavor a little uh, spicy. You like spicy? Yeah. Mm. This market has two floors. You will find everything here from local Balinese snacks to uh, local handicrafts and everything that Bali has to offer in one place. Sadly, I didn't catch the name of the shop, but it's somewhere on the way to Hi. Hello. Yeah, welcome to Pretty. Thank, Thank you. Thank you very much for you coming to Pretty. <laughs> Thank yeah. you. I love your homestay. It is so so beautiful. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Yeah, come here. <laughs> All these days in Bali and Nusa Islands, I was traveling with a friend or two. These last three days in Ubud, I decided to spend by myself and I booked myself this amazing homestay. I'll add a link of this place in my description. This is a cute secluded lane leading to my homestay. It is central but still very quiet and secluded and we have several other homestays in this area. So I'm just walking out of this lane and heading towards a cafe in very close to the Obud market and then I'm going to spend a couple of hours window shopping or maybe shopping and then I'm going to my plan is to actually attend the traditional dance at the Saraswati temple here so I'm looking forward to that as well So I'm at the Ubud market. This is actually the second time I'm here. The first time I didn't get to see it properly. So I decided to spend today, my second last day in Bali, just exploring the Ubud market. I got myself a bag, a very typical Bali bag, which I've been wanting to buy since the first time, I, first day I got here. So I have just been walking around random lanes and aisles of the Obud market today and look how beautiful it is. So we are headed to the Kitchak, Fire and Shant's dance performance and we have a quick pick up there is someone who is going to take us to the place where the performance is happening and it's a night performance so it's normally 
800k IDR, which is around 6.5 US dollars or 535 INR. It is a one-hour performance and it's totally worth it. If you don't end up catching this performance in Ubud, you have an option to see this at Indubadu Temple, which is in South Bali. So I'm at this local fruit shop here and they have these really local Bali fruits which are interesting. Some of them are really interesting and I'm, I'll be more show to you. So this is the snack fruit which tastes a little like chocolate for some reason. This is the mangosteen and this is durian. These are the local fruits that you get in Bali. What else is local? Huh? What else is local? Local fruit? Yes. Yeah. Uh, this one. Snack this fruit. One. What is this? Uh, passion fruit. Passion fruit. Okay, yeah. passion fruit. Orange. <laughs> that one. Sour shop. What's that? Sour shop. Sour shop? Yeah. And that's dragon fruit, right? Yeah. Sadly, I didn't get to try the, all the fruits here because there were too many people all of a sudden and uh, the lady couldn't uh, handle everyone so I didn't want to spend too much time also I'm starving so I'm going to a very recommended cafe called Milk and Madhu uh, to have dinner and I'm meeting one of my friends from the Beach House project as well. So I'm having a vegetarian Indonesian dish called mee goreng. It's basically fried noodles with veggies and you have some crispies and a sweet spicy sauce. It's got like sweet sauce with soy and um, this is the first varung in 15 days that uh, I'm eating at. Varung is basically like a dhaba in Indonesia. They serve the most local Indonesian food. Uh, it's kind of hard to find vegetarian food in these varungs, but there are certain uh, varungs that have vegetarian food. Basically, they can make everything without egg. So, I'm having something which normally contains egg, but this one in particular is made without egg because I don't eat egg. So, let's see how this tastes. I'm going to put a little bit of the sweet chili sauce. Also, I've requested them for half quantity because I have a very low appetite. Um, and this actually is already a lot for me. Mm. I love it. They have these um, fried garlic with cucumber. They have radish, carrots. And they have this particular sauce, I think it's called, it's called the sambal. Uh, what do you, what is the sauce that we put in this? So we put this sweet chili sauce with a certain spice from Indonesia and mix it with um, sesame oil, which adds a very unique flavor to this dish. Uh, it is nothing like I have tried before, to be honest. It's not like those fried noodles or hakka noodles that you have in India. Um, so this is definitely a must try if you are in Indonesia. <clears throat> in Bali, they have uh, these chips that they serve with uh, Indonesian dishes. But the chips actually have uh, shrimp or prawn powder on it. So normally it's best to avoid it. 
but this particular one is like these fried chips that are made with the batter of spring roll and there's no powder on it so it's completely safe to have i'm also having this fresh tea which is apparently like a local green tea from indonesia it's not like iced tea like lemon iced tea but it's like green tea but cold and sweet and it's perfect because this is really spicy for me after a delicious vegetarian meal I went for a quick bite uh, at Milk and Maru to meet my friend who was also in Ubud at that time and then we went to a live band place which was also a lot of fun. So I have the cutest little fruit salad and some green tea and some jaffa which is basically a waffle. And this is actually my balcony outside the homestay. So I'm heading to a waterfall today. Uh, since I haven't seen any on my trip yet, so I, this is one of the reasons why I'm coming back to the boat, so I can see the waterfalls. Most of the waterfalls are at least an hour's distance from Ubud, but this particular one is quite close and also one of the most recommended waterfalls to see in and around Ubud. After spending some quality time at the waterfalls, I headed over for lunch at a cute little cafe which was in the waterfall premises. I'm trying. I mean, this is something I've already had before. It's the nasi goreng. This is basically rice with some sort of uh, vegetarian Indonesian spice with veggies and there's fried garlic on top with tomatoes, cucumber and these rice chips. Normally these chips they actually put prawn or shrimp powder but I confirmed with them like rice if this is without it and they said it is plain chips so I'm going to uh, take their word for it. And we also have the avocado coffee milkshake. This is something unheard of and I am not a coffee person. But I think this is a milkshake, it's not a coffee which is why I ordered it. It's, it has a tinge of coffee flavor and it has uh, avocado as the hero of the drink. So I'm going to try this right now. It's really good. It has the perfect balance of avocado and coffee. It's the right amount that I would prefer personally because I don't like too much coffee. It, does, it doesn't suit me actually. So it has a very small uh, percentage of coffee but it's enough to get that flavor. And it's very thick because of the avocado. And I don't know what sweetener they have used. I'm going to ask them. I think it is sugar mostly. Uh, but it's really, really good. I'm going to try the nasi goreng as well right now. So you can see they have the tofu, they have the veggies, and it's very big on flavors. No. So I'm at the Juwak Mani's rice fields. This is one of the smaller local rice fields of Ubud. It's not very, very popular. But if you are walking close to the Ubud Palace, you'll see like a board which says, uh, you know, you can do like a walk to the rice fields, to the Juwak Mani's rice fields. It's about 1.4 kilometers. So I was very intrigued and I thought I'll just do it. This was on my list since yesterday. But I didn't end up walking. I actually ended up taking a Gojek, which is a scooter. And I reached faster. But probably I'll take the walk back to the Ubud market and uh, because it's beautiful. Look at the views here. It's just so calm, peaceful, serene. 
it's beautiful the best part about this uh, place is that there are very few tourists at this point um which is surprising because it's actually in the city center this walk it's very close to the city center but even better since there are very few tourists here i absolutely love ubud out of all the places in bali i think i resonate the most with ubud for multiple reasons uh, one of them being that uh, even though it's touristy there is a sense of calmness in this particular part of bali and um, it's colorful it's cultural you have the most amazing cafes and uh, rice fields you have the waterfalls uh, you're closer to the mountains which is uh, mount batur uh, which is about half an one hour away not too far to be honest and the only thing that's missing here are the beaches which uh, you can find in changu or kuta or seminya so about uh, an hour away so not too far either so I think this is probably my vibe and um, that's exactly why I'm back to Ubud after already spending 4 or 5 days at the beginning of my trip. One of my last stops for the evening and for the entire trip actually was this cafe which is located by one of the most popular rice fields in Bali. Um, I just wanted to have a meal here and enjoy it. I came across this really nice vegan and vegetarian bar and I decided to have like a dragon fruit tea there and it seemed very nice and while walking around the Ubud market uh, at night I came across this other shop selling stuff made only with that's when I came across this local traditional bali dessert so having this traditional bali dessert called lapis is basically steamed rice flour with cocoa powder coconut sugar and coconut milk and it's layered and steamed so let's see how this is definitely very it's interesting it's very like sticky and it's it has a pudding like texture but it's still not as soft as a pudding it's more sticky and um, less sweet less than i had expected and has no egg so if you're a vegetarian this is a must try for you definitely worth the try but it's not the best dessert ever but for a local dessert i think it's pretty good you can see how sticky it is it's hard to take it out from the from the leaf but here we go so the recommendation is definitely one of the best and cheapest places to shop in bali while heading back to my home state i came across this place selling products So it's my last breakfast in Bali. I'm having a fruit salad with dragon fruit, mango, watermelon, oranges, banana, and papaya with shredded coconut on top. There's some green tea, and I'm trying Balinese pancakes with pineapple and banana stuffed inside and topped with Balinese sugar and coconut. I'm excited to try this one in particular, and I'm going to tell you how it is. sweet as i thought the batter of the pancake but it's sweet because of the fruits inside which is banana and pineapple and i also requested them to make this without egg so this is eggless the batter is actually salty so the fruits make it sweet and also the banana sugar and the coconut add a very different sweet salty flavor to it i think it's pretty good something i've never tried before so definitely a must try so i'm finally saying bye to this beautiful home stay i had the most beautiful calm peaceful two days here
Bye bye. bye. See you next time in Bali. Guys, yep. reach out to uh, Mr. Made. Made. For any taxi service that you need, he will be here to help you out. I'll link his number in the description below. That's his car, and that's Mr. Madhi. So I'm done with my check-in and just waiting for my flight to the next destination, um, which is should I reveal it or should I not reveal it? I'm not 100% sure. I think I'm not going to reveal it right now. <laughs> so. Um, I have about half an hour left for my next flight, so I'm just heading towards my gate and waiting for the flight. And just like that, 16 amazing days in Bali came to an end. I was in tears when the flight took off. Everything about Bali will be missed. I hope you enjoyed seeing my Bali videos. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below. As always, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe and I'll see you next Wednesday.